Uh, hello guys, welcome to the Convert channel. I am Mansur Amini. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, um, calculate MPSH and how high seas calculate MPSH for us and report it to you. Uh, I'm going to uh, formulate <coughs> uh, MPSH in a spreadsheet and find out how does it work. So let's start the session by uh, defining uh, and uh, find out what is actually NPSH. So uh, NPSH uh, is a net positive uh, suction head and it is a measurement of pressure experienced by a fluid. Uh, actually, we have two ways to show um, the NPSH. Uh, the first one is in meter or uh, in feet um, and the second one is in pressure in the pressure unit I mean in the uh, PSI or in K kilopascal or other units that we can show that As, but uh, feet or meter is more easier for us because we can actually understand it more easy and uh, uh, our mind can uh, recognize meter or feet more easily in comparison to the pressure. So, uh, how NPSH calculate in high seas? So, let's formulate NPSH or net positive suction head in a pump. Uh, the first term is the uh, absolute pressure in pump vessel. Yeah, and the second one is the vapor pressure of fluid. Uh, we do not have any uh, title with this vapor pressure on the fluid. Uh, in the high seas, we actually should uh, find a bubble point and insert the bubble point uh, number to the spreadsheet and calculate the NPSH. We, uh, this term divide by uh, mass density you can watch it's a row or mass density and uh, J is the acceleration due to the gravity and it's we all know that it's number uh, right here <coughs> and this term is the <coughs> uh, level of fluid on the uh, pump and HF is the friction loses and the last term is about the velocity of the fluid uh, but uh, in this session I'm going to remove this, uh, these terms and uh, I'm going to calculate MPSH by the first term so let's start the uh, light curve I'm going to insert water as a component to the high seas and go to the fluid packages and I choose the Peng Robinson fluid packages as a <coughs> fluid package. It's in this green tab show that your <coughs> selection is uh, correct. And at the next step, go to a simulation environment and let's insert a pump with the inlet stream and one outlet stream for the pump. Uh, we need a energy stream to run a pump as well. So let's to find the property, I would uh, consider 25 degrees C for the water fluid, for water inlet, I mean, and one ATM as a pressure. And Z1 for the uh, a standard uh, ideal liquid volume uh, with the unit of meter cubic per hour. Go to the composition and insert one 
because water is the only component that we have so we have the green tab right here that shows your uh, uh, stream is correctly defined but the uh, actually yellow line uh, around the pump show that this pump it, it do not run actually go to the outlet stream and define uh, and insert four ATM pressure for the pump to run the simulation so it's simulation correctly run and we have a pump that uh, pump a water with 1 psi to the 4 psi uh, i mean 1 atm to the uh, 4 atm so uh, the high seas automatically go to the rating automatically calculate npsh for us and this is right here and the psh available is 9.9 .9. So how HiSys does work and how I calculate this number. I'm going to show you how to uh, calculate this number by yourself. So insert <coughs> the spreadsheet to the simulation environment. Go to the spreadsheet tab. Uh, as we know, the first term is the absolute pressure, pressure in the pump vessel. So I'm going to copy the pressure of the pump, the inlet of the pump to the spreadsheet and this number copy right here. Just make sure that <coughs> the number uh, uh, that you insert to the spreadsheet would, should be on the uh, Pascal unit. If you uh, <coughs> insert pressure on the ATM or other units you should uh, consider some uh, a changing unit and uh, to find out how to calculate uh, NPSH work the second term is the as you know is the vapor pressure of fluid but we do not have any title on this in the high seas come here go to the property we do not have any vapor pressure right here and the uh, uh, bubble point pressure actually uh, uh, run the <coughs> same uh, and means the same uh, as the vapor pressure so let's copy this number but we knew we knew that the bubble point pressure is the vapor pressure in the inlet so go to the spreadsheet I insert this number two to a spreadsheet and the <clears throat> last term that we need is the density or mass density in units of kg per meter cubic cubic meter so go to the material stream to the property and mass density in kg per cubic meter meter cubic and copy this number to to the high seas to go to the spreadsheet and insert this number based on right here so let's <coughs> formulate this number and find out how uh, high seas calculate npsh as we know we have absolute pressure minus uh, vapor pressure or uh, bubble point pressure that we insert to the spreadsheet and uh, mass density which divided by mass density uh, multiplied by acceleration due to gravity so let's insert this number to the spreadsheet and formulate it just press equal and we have a1 minus a2 which uh, so let me insert this option to <coughs> which divide by uh, a3 which is the mass density so time a3 multiply by 9.8 is the uh, which is the acceleration press enter 
the 9.9 .9 is the NPSH. Uh, <clears throat> Nine point nine is the NPSH that we uh, uh, actually uh, calculate for this session and for this simulation. Go to the pump. Uh, so let me maximize this window. Go to the rating and NPSH tab. 9.9 .9 is the NPSH available. This is how, uh, this is the way how uh, ISIS actually calculate NPSH available for us. Uh, <clears throat> thank you guys. Have a good time. I'm really happy to uh, uh, actually learn this, uh, how to calculate NPSH. Thank you guys. Have a good time. Goodbye.